The big for a planned sports and condominium complex in Idaho Falls say they want to be good neighbors, but they also want to protect their own interests. Newsbeat 8's Laurel Porter spoke with both property owners and planners of the project set for John Adams Parkway and Woodruff Avenue, and she has this report. This is the view from the backyard at 1821 Gallup Street in Idaho Falls. It looks out on a nearly eight-acre field that may be replaced by a $3 million sports complex with adjacent condominiums and professional buildings. The project engineer says the complex would be aesthetically pleasing. Well, each year, a new design brings a better uh, quality of uh, development, and I believe this is the first chance we've had a large enough condominium area to really make it blend in with the sports complex. Dee Monson, whose backyard would face the development, says he and his neighbors have some concerns. Monson turned over a petition listing those concerns to the Planning Commission at this week's public hearing. It was signed by every resident on Gallup Street. But our biggest concern is that we have some way of both visually and sound uh, protecting us from whatever might go up in the uh, adjacent property. Residents who border this piece of land proposed for the sports complex and condominiums say they're not fighting developers, they want to work with them. And many say that the development will actually benefit the community of Idaho Falls. D. Monson says he only wants guarantees that the privacy of his backyard is protected. They're working with them, we certainly want to be good neighbors. And in fact, the reception that we had the other night at the Planning Commission meeting was the most cordial reception we've ever had in the city of Idaho Falls when we've been requesting a commercial zone. Near Developers are requesting that the land be rezoned R3A, which allows condos and professional buildings. If it is rezoned, Benton says the plans will include setbacks and landscaping as a buffer between the new complex and existing homes. Those guarantees will be included in the annexation agreement with the city. Benton says those assurances are more than residents could expect if the land were developed as it is presently zoned. And the R1 zone, which is presently zoned in the county, would allow two-story buildings right back of them. And we're going to give them the assurance that the first row of, of homes immediately behind them will be single story. Monson would prefer a solid barrier to landscaping as a buffer, but he says he's willing to look at the options. I don't want to take a uh, firm unbending stand at this time. I, I think that we can work very agreeably with the people. The Planning and Zoning Commission will meet with developers on Tuesday to discuss the property owner's concerns. In Idaho Falls, I'm Laurel Porter for News Beat 8. And plans to build a $3 million sports complex in the city of Ammon have now been scrapped. The Salt Lake City developer who wanted to build the facility in the tiebreaker subdivision has abandoned the effort due to the many restrictions the city had placed on the development. But Brent Alder, president of Project Management Services, says he is still considering other sites around the Idaho Falls area. Many Ammon residents had opposed the complex because they felt it would have an adverse effect on their community.